Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and the Habsburg leading a whole fleet uh, against the Nevada. So we've got the Habsburg. Are these all the same? No, they're not. Uh, oh, no, they are. It's just there was a whole list of flaws. Okay, so we've got a bunch of battleships. 15-inch guns, only six, very slow. Uh, armor is, well, hmm, hard to tell, actually. Only 80 million each. Hmm. Uh, a Vulcan class, we've seen those before. Uh, a bunch of cruisers. They're all the same class as well, yeah. Looks like it. And some light cruisers. And a destroyer. Up against them, we have the Nevada, standard class. Uh, refitted though, so she is does have modern uh, equipment on board. Um, we also have uh, a Detroit, a couple of uh, Philadelphias, and a Davenport. All right, let's get into it. Okay, <laughs> the water are opening up immediately. Right, they're coming straight at us. Cool. Uh, Nevada, come about. Uh, do you know what? Just put all the cruisers together and put them on a screen command. Save your torpedoes. See if the Nevada can uh, prove that the standards still have what it takes. And 12 14 inch guns is nothing to sniff at. Very long range though, save your own mission. Let's see what they're about. Looks like the capital ships are moving away. Nevada is unfortunately quite slow, so she's going to have trouble. Um, Whoa, that was a huge hit. I just saw that. Yikes, two of them. <laughs> two massive 5,000 damage hits. Yikes. Okay, well, we're definitely able to um, hit them. Well, whatever that ship was is uh, sunk. Heavy cruiser? Maybe? I don't know actually. That could be something considerably bigger by the looks of it. Have to wait until that gets ID'd. I mean, it's in their best interest to do something because uh, you can't stay at a range where we're able to shoot you and you can't shoot back. That's just going to end poorly. Uh, I am using uh, an up-to-date balance mod uh, for 1.2.4 at this point. I think it's version is it 15 of the balance mod or something like that. Uh, you can find a description down in a uh, description. You can find a link in the video description. Um, always include one. Well, a little bit closer, I think. Still just kind of peppering them with long range fire. Let's 
Seattle, Scranton, and Tucson, Arizona. Um, <laughs> closing in a little bit. Still very long range. At 30 kilometers out, we're doing this. Oh, complete big hits. Oh, main deck pens really do cause a lot of damage, don't they? Jesus. Oh, and an ammo deck. Do we know what that ship is yet? No, still don't. <laughs> I might identify it before it goes beneath the waist, but not before that one does. Oh, oh. Okay, that was the that was one of the battleships. Down. Lovely stuff. Oh, wow, that was actually a battleship that we destroyed earlier. Goodness. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the standards were kind of built to take out enemy capital ships, but that is, that is brutal beyond belief. Habsburg basically has our entire keel blown out. It sinks. In the comments of the last video, um, that, that, that like, what what were the Austrians thinking with this? And I kind of have to agree that is not going well for them. I'm not sure they've landed a single hit as yet. Battle cruiser now being targeted. What was the uh, armor like on these? It's not terrible. Turtleback, uh, by the looks of it. But just, you know, <laughs> not quite enough. <laughs> and turtleback ships, um, certainly in Ultimate Admiral. Oh, hello! <laughs> are really disadvantaged at long ranged engagements. They much prefer um, close range. I think the Taurus is uh, probably not long for this world. Nope. Which means the absolute slaughter of cruisers can begin. 22 knot cruisers. That is abysmally slow. Well armoured, 12 inch main belt, but um, yeah, that doesn't help when you're just going to get hit so much. Yeah, and they can't keep out the high end AP shells we're rocking. Oh, Jesus. And of course we're hitting the decks probably at this range, which are uh, much thinner. Again, looks like these ships were designed for close in brawling, and then the Admiral has decided, or the AI, but uh, the Austrian Admiral has decided to engage at range, which is very much playing to, holy, Jesus, the... Um, strengths of the US fleet. I mean, we're good close range too, don't get me wrong, but um, staying at a range where you can't really fire back, not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> that should not, like one capital ship against five, and even in heavy cruisers, <clears throat> I think the Austrians 
would probably, and they're 38,000 tons each, so they are equivalent in displacement, but not in uh, battle effectiveness. Yikes. Whoa! <laughs> they might be dealing out half a million damage. Good grief. That is terrible. The only ship to score a hit, any hits, was the Voldberg, or Voldberg, I guess. Um, three hits with her 6.7 inch guns. That's, that's literally it. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. The uh, <laughs> Seged uh, also got a hit, but it was blocked. Um, wow, impressive stuff. <laughs> uh, what about main gun accuracy? Yep, yeah, pretty good considering the range. 23% uh, is very good considering we were, what, 20, 20 to 30 kilometers out most of the battle. Um, lovely stuff. No, I think we will uh, fight to the end. <laughs> Bit of light damage. Um, is the fleet staying in place? Well, there's a fleet there. That's what matters. Um, one thing that uh, has been asked is that I send something down to Africa. So I will do that. Uh, let's send the Boston... Uh, a couple of just and the boss and a couple of destroyers should be enough to keep an eye on on things down there for us. Uh, we also have a battle here. A um, bunch of the Detroits have found a bunch of Austrian cruisers. Well, uh, let's see how they do <laughs> after that last <laughs> engagement. I'm not particularly impressed, I have to be honest, um, with these Austrian cruisers. All these look different. Maybe they will provide a greater challenge. Maybe this is their newer stuff. Set course. No need to do anything fancy. Okay, got it. Uh, ooh, actually, all of you go on save. You're a little bit. Some of you are a little bit low on uh, shells. Right, let's get the guns on target if we can. There we go. Just wait for them to come to us, I guess. Let's give them a shot. And go on to save. Fearing I'm firing a mixture of things. A HE shells in the mix. I think we're mostly firing HE now. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, you can tell, by the way, by the color of the shells. Uh, HE shells are a kind of uh, yellowy color, whereas the AP shells have a bluish tint to them. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. I am colorblind. certainly don't mind firing off HE. We have less HE. Uh, less AP, I mean. We have more HE shells. And at range, yeah, you get some couple of, couple of decent hits. Take out some important but poorly protected things like torpedo launchers, 
fire control, stuff like that. Oh, now we're switching up to AP, and oh my word, <laughs> yeah, that, like hot knives through a butter factory, yikes. Cruiser. Yeah, Salzburg getting brutalized in short order. The uh, Wiener Neustadt. Next for um, a bit of uh, light shelling. <laughs> the number of shells. Oh god, I love the balance mod for that. It's just like, yep, all the shells. Like they're firing torpedoes at us. Time to turn away. I mean, they did get the torpedoes off, I suppose. But uh, I think they're going to sink as a result. Yep. Oh, Norfolk. I'm to you. Have you taken a brunt of the damage? You can pull out. Yeah, a bunch of six inch hits. Well, seven inch really. 6.7 is going to behave pretty similarly to a seven inch gun. It's okay, she's uh, perfectly capable of withdrawing and providing some additional fire. Uh, more torpedoes being deployed. I don't think they've been fired in the right direction. Those will have. Let's turn again. will probably sink that cruiser squadron before they get a chance for the torpedoes to even get to us. <laughs> Is that just pure damage saturation? Yeah, Tyrol finally sinking. Innsbruck it's just going to get deleted, I think. A couple of hits on Memphis to a superstructure. At least this uh, commander knew to close in, but um, didn't do it much good. Norfolk, yeah, a bit of flooding, but she'll be fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> See, look, able to tank damage pretty well. I mean, 8,000 damage and you're still fairly combat effective. Uh, it did take, I mean, seven... Only seven of them were penetrating hits, um, which is pretty good. So her armor held up pretty well. Um, seven out of 40 hits, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Northampton scoring the most damage. Um, yeah, the Detroit's outclassing the Norfolk a bit uh, with her 8-inch guns, but yeah, she is the one that took all the, the hits, so <laughs> not too bad um, Austro-Hungarians I mean is there any point <laughs> to Austro-Hungary doing any of this stuff, it's just like it's it was such a bad strategic play to be like, oh well, um, we're friends with 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 Britain and 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 France, so we're going to yeah, no, <laughs> stupid idea. Right, the Sacramento with some Lithuanian Belgian units has found a couple of heavy cruisers guarding a convoy. Well, chance to do yet more damage to the British economy, although I'm pretty sure that 
there's not a lot of um, impact that we're having in that regard. Right, I'm going to put the foreigners on um, AI control. Yeah, we're just going to waltz right up and blast them in the face. I don't think Sacramento is uh, going to be particularly challenged by any of this. We'll use uh, the main guns on the cruisers and then we'll save ammunition. We'll just take out the transports with the four-inch guns. Uh, they are leaving their transports. I'm not sure. Uh, can you give them a volley? Are they in range yet? No, not yet. And now they are. Just give them a volley so that they complete the aiming process and then leave them on uh, save. Should be able to close in relatively easily. The Shannons, I seem to remember, are faster than the Detroits. Really, Soldato sailing right in front of the cruiser. Um, and it looks like they are abandoning the transports and running. Uh, they might be. Certainly not an effective strategy, whatever they're up to. Let's have a look at these uh, units. So we've got a Belgian unit, which is, of course, a uh, that will be a oh, I'm trying to remember which class of destroyer that is, but that's one of ours. The Soldato, on the other hand, is not. That's Italian-looking, now Lithuanian, and the Reuben James, which is an old Samson class. Very nice. Yeah, they're just wandering off over there. Give them uh, encouragement to leave. They have seen us. Our destroyers opening up on the transports. The childs. Oh, scoring a hit as well. These poor, poor transports. Four inch guns of the Sacramento are going to be in range soon as well. There they go. Yeah, I don't think those transports are going to last very long. Especially with one exploding. I mean, they do have four and a half inch guns. How many do they carry? Like one, two, one four, one aft. then. And how far away are those cruisers? Out of range. Uh, yeah, and far too fast for us to bother with. Just end the battle there. Quite happy destroying the transports. I uh, didn't even have to spend too many 10-inch shells to ensure that. <laughs> Most of the damage done by Sacramento. But um, Childs getting in a few solid hits. Nice to see. Right, I think I will check the 
politics side of things. Uh, but that will probably be it. Dum -dee. Right. Um... Yeah, France blockaded, Austria-Hungary blockaded, all good. Mm, the other thing I need to check is naval invasion. We don't have any going on at the moment. Um, I'm trying to launch one over here, but uh, I have been having problems with that. I think it is just related to the fact that... Um, uh, my save is quite old at this point, but uh, yeah, let's have a look at the politics screen. So France, pathetic. <laughs> Their GDP is very small as well. Um, really, we could navally invade Western France? No. Um, Russia, no, we're not at war with them. Britain, yeah, we, we are really cutting into them now. Uh, yeah, it looks impressive, but with how fast we've been slicing through them, uh, not so much. Uh, Austria-Hungary, yeah, pretty much destroyed, what, half their fleet? More? Already? Uh, they're down to scraps. They are building a lot, though. Um, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. United States, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we are absolutely like we are so far in terms of GDP. Like, beyond, like I think Germany has the highest GDP of the European powers. Yeah, it does at four hundred billion, which is actually very respectable. Um, we have one trillion more than that. That is utterly ludicrous. And there's it's not slowing now. We're still at plus 7%. It's just snowballing away. Um, well, production per capita as well, 39,000 barrels. Japan outdoes us, actually. Probably because we have a much larger population. Um, but yeah, yearly naval budget, 109. Uh, wait. Yeah, billion. That would be. Or am I not reading it right? Uh, million would be... Here. Yeah, billion. Billions. 109 billion. <laughs> Which is more <laughs> than the GDP of the entire British Empire. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jeez, uh, <laughs> oh... <laughs> Right, um, research-wise, what are we getting? Uh, Mark 5 19-inch guns. Oh, we nearly finished the big gun tree. That is exciting. Um, but yeah, otherwise I think we're okay. How are we doing in terms of shipbuilding capacity? We're pretty much at capacity. Now, this needs renaming. Uh, let's call it the, the Rotterdam. And, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Uh, any ships that we can refit out of interest? Yeah. Uh, Fall River and St. Paul. Uh, just because some of these ships will have been out doing things with Charleston. Uh, North, South Dakota, and Washington. Hawaii and Samoa. This will probably send me over again. 
but they only take like a month to refit, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, Connecticut and New Jersey. North and South Carolina. Okay, excellent. Well, the bunch of refits being done. Uh, well, two months. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Just let them. We'll just go over capacity. It's fine. Rather than suspending stuff. Um, yep, I think that's that. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.